Hello everyone, Nathan here with the second Mind Test Modding tutorial video. Um, today we're going to be looking at creating our very first node. Um, I went ahead and created a texture here. Um, it's kind of a smeary tan color. Um, yeah, it's it's really fantastic. I would give it to you, and actually, you know what? I will. I will link it in the uh, description. I don't know where I'll upload it to, but I'll upload it someplace. So let's jump right in. Last week I was kind of wordy. This week let's be a little more on point. So in my case, I'm going to be using Genie. Um, as I mentioned last week, you can use whatever you want, but let's dive right in here. So as you'll remember, last episode, if you watched it, we created a folder in the mod directory called new mod, and I went ahead and created model sound textures in the in its Lua file here. Uh, texture file, obviously, I put in there. The I've already opened the file here in Genie. Um, obviously, you can always right-click and open with whatever program you're using. And start with, let's just start typing here. So we do mind test register node, and then we name the node. Now, I have, in Genie, I have it set up so when I put in a parenthesis, a bracket, a quote, I think that's it. It'll automatically give me a closing. Um, if you don't have that set up with whatever you're using, you're going to manually have to enter the quotes at the end. Um, another thing about quotes, you can use single or double. I don't think it makes any difference, but try and be consistent throughout at least, just for readability. Okay, so we're making a new node, and I'm not really sure what we're going to be calling it yet, but because it's part of this mod that we call the new mod, it does need to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It needs to have a prefix with the mod's name. So we do new mod colon and then the name of this node, which let's just call it dirt cube. So that's basically what it's going to be. And we put a comma after that and then a squiggly brace. Brace, bracket, whichever it is. I think I've heard it called both. Okay, and then we need to describe which texture it's going to use. So let's type in tiles. Tiles, if you are familiar with gaming culture at all, you will know tiles and sprites fairly well. So tiles are just what texture it's using to plaster around it. Now you can use a different tile for the different sides. There are different things you can do. I have um, chosen not to do that because this is our first one, so we're going to be simple. So we do our curly braces there, and then we do a quote, and smear.png, which is the name of that file. We finish that off with a comma, and then it needs to be in some groups. It actually, I don't think, does. I think you can create stuff that's not in a group at all, but I don't think there's really any point to doing that. So we have several different groups. Um, I will link to the wiki where it actually lists all the groups and kind of what they all mean. Um, right now we're going to use Snappy. That pretty much, uh, honestly I'm not actually sure what that one means. I think that has something to do with being dug with a shovel, but I'm not positive, don't quote me on that. Um, others that we won't be using, there's Choppy, which would be for wood type materials. Crackable, or something along those lines, is more for stone type stuff. Flammable, for things that can burn. Um, there's like wood, for um, the different wood mods that there are out there. They can put all of their woods into the group wood, so a recipe can just use wood instead of, you know, more trees, birch, or whatever. Um, but anyways, the second one we're going to be putting in here is by far the best <laughs> group that I think exists in Mind Test. Oddly breakable by hand. Now, I should mention here, these numbers that we have right here, that number pretty much relates to how long it will take to do. Um, like a torch. Actually, let me... Where is that? Um, let's in games. Oh, no, it's not. And I'd have to... I don't know what that's under. 
I don't think it's in that. No, it's not. Boo. Um, I will say, the oddly breakable by hand, I want to say torches are one. So that's pretty much, you just click on it, it's broken. Two, it takes a little bit longer. Three takes a little bit longer yet. Um, I don't know if there's any max number that you can put in for these. I have never really tried. Um, that may be something to look into. Don't need that comma. You do put commas between the different groups here. You can do spacing between the equal signs and the numbers, or you can leave the spacing out. Technically, you can also leave the spacing out there, from what I understand. I tend to leave the spacing between the groups and not between those, just for readability sake. But you can do it whichever way you prefer. Uh, and that's pretty much that. So now we have a node called Dirt Cube. We have a tile defined for it, and we put in some groups. So we could right now, well, let's save this. And let's launch a mind test. And let's see how this works. Now, I already created a world called New Mod. And I have turned on the New Mod mod. It's the only, well, of course, all the default mods are enabled. And I actually already played this world, so I may have already built. Yeah, I have. So. We have this new mod, which currently we actually cannot craft this smeared thing, whatever it really is. It's not craftable at the time because we have not defined a craft recipe for it. So the only way to get it is to do a give me, and then it's new underbar mod, colon, um, dirt, I don't know why I keep typing dirty dirt cube and we want 20 of them and you'll see how we just jumped up from the 16 down in the quantity here all the way up to 26 we just gave ourselves 20 more so that's good and well if you want to um you know be using commands to give yourself stuff every single time but let's face it that's kind of lame so let's just exit out of there so we have the node let's make a craft recipe for that now so again we will do mind test register. This time though we're registering a craft, not a node. So we're going to do the parenthesis and the squirrely brace there. Indent that. And then we need to define what the output's going to be. So in this case we are going to be outputting new mod dirt cube and we're going to create one when we use this craft recipe. And then we of course need the recipe as well. So we will do this, indent that again, another squirrely brace. Um, I don't know if you've been noticing, but Genie does a nice job of telling you which braces go with what. So it kind of highlights your braces, which makes it pretty nice to know if your braces are all set up right. I'm going to actually show you what happens if you have a mistake. I tried showing this last week, but I could not make an error that was... A valid error that would actually throw up an error instead of just being you know muffled and thrown into the log so we have default dirt here okay and now i'm going to intentionally leave out the comma right here because that'll throw up an error in the crafting recipe and then i'll kind of show you a little bit on how we would debug for an error like that so we have our recipe here we have the two lines of the recipe. By defining just two lines like this, we are able to put build this 4x4 anywhere in the crafting table. If we did want to lock it to a corner, I believe we can do something like this, where it will now have to be there, because it, it's going to look for an empty space on the side of it. But, whoops, I do need that comma. That is going to be rather frustrating for anyone who uses it. Like, why is this not working? So I advise not doing that, unless you're trying to make it frustrating. So we have our craft now. Let's save this file again. And let us launch up my test once more. And play again. And ooh, we got an error. Failed to load and run. Check the debug for details. So we will, um, good, I have cleared this lately. It's one and a half megabytes right now. Yeah, I'm looking at like 19,000 lines of a debug. Okay, this is what we want down at the bottom. 
error from Lua. Fail to load and run script from Newman's Lua. Okay, so if it says Lua 10, brace expected near quote default dirt. Okay, so it's saying that someplace I missed a brace in line 10. If we go to line 10, mm, nope, not missing a brace. I am missing a comma though. So I'm not sure why it's default there. Sometimes the output it'll give you isn't necessarily the actual premise. Okay, now we got another. Now that's weird because I didn't expect that. Oh, did I not save it? No, I did. Okay. Line 12. Brace expected to close front at line 6. Near that. I'm confused now. Brace in line 10 is expected to close. No. That should be the. Oh! I see. I forgot to put the curly brace. Whoops. Down at line 12. So what it was telling me actually was correct. It was looking for another brace. I'm not sure what it was looking for another brace at 10 instead of at 11. But that should have fixed things. Let's try this one more time. And there we go. So now to test out to make sure it's working. Whoops. Let's dig some dirt. Yay for dirt. Let's throw this up in the crafting table here. Hey, what do you know? No, that's weird though. I'm not getting any. You notice as I hover over things, it tells me dirt. This doesn't tell me anything. Let's fix that right away. Because that can be annoying too. Because someone would see something. Oh, what is this material? I don't know what that is. Now, if you have the debug info turned on up in the top portion of the screen here, you will see pointing at new mod dirt cube slash smear PNG. And otherwise, here we have pointing at default dirt with grass default grass PNG. I don't know if you can actually point at water, because water is not a diggable entity, um, but we have trees, so we could see what it was that way, but otherwise it's like, what is this material? So let's go ahead and add that right away. Now it's actually very easy to do. We go back to the node here, and we add one line of a description. And what do we, what do we actually want to call that? Like tan thingamabob thinga thingamabob let's pull mind test back up here now you don't actually have to exit mind test every single time oh boy we have an error oh you know what i already know what it is it's i'm missing a comma you have to put commas at the end because it kind of White space is funny, because technically you could actually put tiles right behind this, and you could do it all in one straight line. It makes for extremely hard readability, but the engine would still interpret it. So that's where my mistake was there. And actually, I'll show you right now that you don't have to. So we just had that error. We made changes. We've reloaded the file. We can play, and it reloads the new file, which now, if we pull up inventory, tan thingamabob, tan thingamabob, dirt. So now we have a description. So now we know what this is. Which we still really don't know what it is, but at least we know it's a tan thing about. We're getting someplace here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I mean, I know that's it's really simple, really basic, nothing to it. But it's important to know the simple things before you move on to the complicated stuff. Like, we'll probably be looking at... Actually, I'm thinking the next two videos, probably going to do um, doing a mesh. So we'll be throwing something together in Blender, which I'll actually show you how to do. And then kind of give you the sizing and everything, exporting. And then we'll be pulling that in here and putting textures on that. And so that'll be one video. And then I might do one on drawing textures. I use Krita myself, but you can use pretty much anything. Um, let me just pull up some stuff here quick just to see Let's see what size textures okay so the bamboo mod uses a 16 by 16 texture 
campfire. Oh, you know what? That's actually uh, something different. Let's try the food mod. Because there's really not a given size that you have to use. They're using 16 by 16. That looks like 16 by 16 is probably like the most common. Um, I created my texture here a 32 by 32. I think. Yeah, 32 by 32. You can use whatever size you want, honestly. There's the um, HDX texture pack, which I believe goes up to a 512 by 512. It may even have 1024 by 1024. I'm not positive. Um, really, the only thing that limits your texture sizes is the amount of RAM your system has. Now, admittedly, to keep consistent with the game look and feel, you should probably stick with 16 or 32 pixel textures. If you go much higher than that and you're using, you know, default texture pack, it's just going to look weird. People are going to use your mind like, your textures are too high resolution for the rest of the game. It doesn't match up. Of course, you can always contribute higher resolution ones to like the HDX texture pack. I believe Vanessa, I want to say she's the one who does that on GitHub. Um, I think she'll accept contributions for you know, your own mods and stuff. So you can always try out that route and put your higher resolution stuff there. I Technically, you could create another one at a lower resolution, but you'd have to give it a different name. And then you have to tell people if you want to use a lower resolution, you have to go into the file, rename them, swap around that way. It's always an option too, but there's not an easy way to just select which resolution to use. It's pretty much going in and changing the code which I think, nope, you can't, I was going to say, I think you can do a comment right in line, and you could comment out the other ones, but I don't know how to do that, there's some way to do it though, I'll look at that, I might get back on that next time when we're doing a different video, but thanks for watching, and I'll be back again.